Hey gang, what's going on? Theme parks, tank tops, protein shakes. Hey guys, Wes here, what's up? I'm exactly three minutes early, like science fiction, right? <laughs> Who do I have to say hello to? Moderator Beverly, Mari, oh, hey Mari. And Craig, Bill Bounds, hey Bill. Don Burks, hey Don. Hey Jeff. Wonder Buns. <laughs> These people must think I'm crazy. Wonder Buns is here, hey Linda. Linda Wonder Buns is here in the house, in the stream. Molly Rook, hey Molly. One day, Caroline W, hey Caroline. One day there will come a time I will not be able to acknowledge everybody. <laughs> in the chat as the channel grows. But as of right now, hey Marty, hey buddy. As of right now, I'm able to do it. John wrote tomorrow Landy and hey Ron, how's it going? Yes, Bill, I didn't forget it today. Now I've got my mask, yep. I know Mel, Molly Mel 97, I was three minutes early, I'm always late. But well, not always, but three minutes, uh, three minute, three minutes early today. Nice to see you, Don. What's up? Marla Denise. Hey, Marla. I don't know if we know each other yet. Welcome, Marla. Nice to see you. I love your cute little picture on there. Nice to meet you, Marla. And lit. all right, Wonder Buns, don't act that shocked that I was early. I don't, where's Kirsty Jane? Oh, Kirsty Jane, it's late over there in England, but Kirsty's always getting me for being late. I wanted her to be here the one day that I was actually early. <laughs> so um, I wanted, oh yeah, so um, I think Marla might be new to chat. Marla Denise, love that name. Okay. Wonder Buns is super, super shocked. Okay. Nah, it's okay. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm early. This is a late stream though, 7 p.m. That's what I did the other night too at Hollywood Studios. Um, oh, the person on my flight, yeah. Um, I won't go in too much about that, but um, I can tell you guys a couple things. Hold on one second. I'm already losing. I'm already losing my place in here. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Oh, that's Caroline. Okay, so. Marla, Sarah C, Amy and Sarah are here. My buddies from the Midwest. Hey, you guys. All right, so as long as Marla is new, welcome Marla and anybody else who happens to be new to the channel, to the live stream. And I would just like to say, uh, I'm Wes. Wes here. This is Busy Getting Disney. And um, if you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button to follow us on the journey. And if you have a great time with me today, please click that uh, like button. Also, to be a super subscriber, please also click that little notifications bell icon to stay updated and receive notifications when I'm about to go live or upload a new vlog. Okay, cool. Oh, so Marla said, oh, Marla, oh, Marla, 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 it's you. Sorry, Marla, I didn't write, you have a different hairdo in your picture there. Hey, Marla. Yes, Marla is, um... Marla is the girlfriend of Cedric's best friend, John. So nice to see you, Marla. Oh my God, we had such a great day with you. I didn't realize that was you though, Marla. Your hair is very different. Cute picture though. Um, we love Marla, yes. Moderator Cedric, who I don't think he's in here yet. Hey, Amanda. Moderator Cedric is not in here yet, but the day that uh, John and I hung out with Cedric, you guys saw the vlog at uh, Universal Studios a couple weeks ago. John's best friend, I mean, Cedric's best friend, John, and his girlfriend Marla they were they also joined and um, oh they were a lot of fun we had a great time with you Marla so thanks for joining the live stream today Cedric's at the gym surprise surprise hey Johan is here Johan what are you doing up so late theme park travelers hi Wes just to say hello and then we're going to bed hello Johan and Johan's wife phone they are over in Paris France where right now it's one o'clock in the morning but thank you Johan and Phone for staying up that late to come in and say hi. Thank you so much. Always nice to see you, Johan. I've been watching your live streams too. Yep. Oh, Amanda likes my Mickey shirt. Thanks. 
Walmart. I think it was really, I think it was like $12.99 at Walmart. Yep, thank you. Cool. Okay. Oh, somebody else is. Oh, no, Kiara. We know Kiara. Hey, Kiara. Is it Kira or Kiara? I think it's Kira. Yes, I love this. I love this tank top. I don't know if it is this a tank top or is it a sleeveless shirt? Because my usual tank tops, they're, you know, I think this might just be a sleeveless shirt. But for today, because it's me, theme parks, tank tops, and protein shakes, today it's a tank top. Yep. Got my water. George Priestley is not here, but he would be telling me to drink my water and he would be telling me when it's ride time, which on that note, I was looking at the wait times on the way in here from the parking lot and wait times are pretty low. So I've been thinking it's not crazy crowded here at Magic Kingdom today, which is always wonderful when it works out that way. So we might be able to get on a few things in the next couple hours. Muscle shirt, that's it. Bill Bounds has it. Muscle shirt, that's it. Cool. And John. And Don. And Craig. Jake's here. Hey, Jake. Kira, can we do Splash Mountain? Oh, I would like to do Splash Mountain, but hmm, there's one thing I forgot. I wonder. So, I, well, I usually have, for in case we're going to be getting on Splash Mountain, I usually have a clear plastic Ziploc, big Ziploc bag in my backpack so I can put that over the, at least the iPhone. You know, I'll still hold the gimbal in my hand, but I can, so the iPhone doesn't get wet. Otherwise, well, I'll think about it, <laughs> about how brave I am. I just don't want to get the iPhone and the gimbal too wet. Um, the J vlog, hey Jay, how's it going? What's going on, Jay? The J, or the, I don't think your name is Jay, but it's the J vlog, but nice to see you again. I, re I do recognize that handle though. Nice to see you. Hey, Megan. What's up, Megan? Tis Jake, tending to Mama Linda. Gotcha. Of course. <laughs> so, oh, so, yeah, so a couple days ago, that was supposed to be yesterday, I did cancel the live stream I was going to do in L.A. yesterday for a bunch of reasons, but I was really, really tired. I had done two all-nighter trips back-to-back -back with not a lot of sleep. Actually, definitely not enough sleep. So I did cancel that live stream from yesterday. Hey, Maggie Jones. Maggie and Alan are here. Hey, Maggie. Maggie says, thought you were back on the 12th. No, I'm, I'm back today. Yeah, I'm back today. I, um, hey, Jerry Martin is here. Hey, Jerry. Nice to see you, man. It's been a little while. You know, Mari, I am, I am thinking of eating something today. I am a little hungry. I haven't actually eaten in the parks in kind of a while now. Um, so anyway, um, yes, so I canceled the live, the live stream for when, while I was in LA yesterday. I'm still tired, by the way, which is why I'm on here so late, 7 o'clock p.m., just for a couple hours tonight, too, but because I am really tired. So last night I flew from, from LA, from Los Angeles to Orlando, landed in Orlando a little bit after 6 a.m. this morning, came home, went to bed for about four hours, not even five hours. Um, and now I'm out here, so I haven't had enough sleep yet, but I'm getting there. And after today, I have four days off. So kind of counting today, I guess it's five days off, but I'm off now until, I don't fly again until Monday. And that, as a matter of fact, I will tell you. So on Monday, hey, moderator Cedric, Cedric is here. Hey, Cedric. Um, so on Monday, I am flying back to LA. And our friend Trish of Let's Go Wait In Line With Trish, Trish not trash. Trish is going to meet me out at Redondo Beach in California on, um, it'll actually be Tuesday. I fly out on Monday, but then I'm there all day Tuesday. So Trish is, Trish is going to meet me on Tuesday and Trish will join the stream. So we'll finally get to meet Trish in person. Very excited about that. Hey, Lowe's, Lowe's is here. We need to get you a coffee. I've already had, oh my God, I can't tell you how many cups of uh, Cafe Bustelo. <laughs> Espresso, straight espresso I've had today. I'll be okay. It's only a few hours. I'll live. Yep, yeah, Trish will be. Let's go wait in line with Trish, not trash. Yeah, Trish will be here or will be with me when I'm in LA on Tuesday. Drew in the moment. Hey, Drew. Hey, buddy. Nice to see you, brother. 
Always love seeing Drew in here. Where's Queen Bee? How is she doing too? What are you two up to? Every time I'm in a hot theme park, it always seems to be <laughs> that Drew's on an air-conditioned sofa, on a sofa in the air conditioning, right? Drew seems to know that the right times to be at a park when the temperature isn't it seems to me that way though sweat rag it is not a sweat rag am i gonna be doing this forever i think i am because you guys always play with me regarding this this is not a sweat rag this is a brow blotting towel brow blotting towel sounds so much better than sweat rag there's a big b here okay not good get out of here b do not want to embarrass myself on this live stream so you guys know how i am around bees right Queen V, Queen is here. Hey, Queen. <laughs> nice to see you. You're both here. Thanks, you guys. Always nice to see Drew and Queen V. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Yes, I'm going to meet Trish. Have you guys met Trish before? Queen V? Um, yeah, I'm excited, too. We're, we're going to meet. We're actually going to go out. Not actually on the, the beach. We will be on the beach. I mean, I'm staying by the beach. Um, I think we're going to go out to the boardwalk. Have a... Like, I did it. I did it last week with you guys. I brought you guys along with me. I think it was Saturday. I think it was Saturday. So Trish and I will go, I don't know, hang out on the boardwalk a little and chat with you guys. Yeah. A moisture mop? I don't know. <laughs> a moisture mop. Why can't, it be, why can't it be a brow blotting towel? Actually, though, moisture mop still sounds better than sweat rag. I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. Jaquita's here. Hey, Jaquita. I didn't see you there. Oh, gotcha, Queen. Okay. Okay, well, yes, well, we are going to meet uh, Trish on Tuesday. Excited about that. Maggie Jones, Maggie's going to bed. All our friends in England and France, thank you so much for stopping in, though, you guys. I know it is late out there. It's about 10 after 12 midnight in England, 10 after 1 in Paris, where Johan is. So thank you so much, you guys, for joining from out there. I understand you have to go to bed. I totally get it. <laughs> no, I really, I appreciate that you actually stayed up just to come in and say hi. Thank you, Maggie. Love you, Maggie. And Alan. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, we're gonna be heading in. We're gonna head in. Cause we don't have a whole lot of time here. <laughs> hey, Deatra's here. I still love that name. Nice to see you, Deatra. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Okay, cool. <laughs> yep. Jack, I love when Jaquita and Wonder Buns are both in chat together because I know time. <laughs> I'm in for a good time whenever either one of them are here, but when they're here together, there's going to be some laughing going on tonight. I do know that. There'll be a lot of laughing. Molly Rook is going to bed. Molly's in England too. Molly, you're in Wales, I think, right? Thank you, Molly. Simon Rogers is here. Simon went back to the gym. Did you really, Simon? Did you work out while you were there at the gym? I remember this conversation from last week. Simon is a pisser. Simon Rogers, you cracked me up. <laughs> nice to see you though, Simon. I'm glad you popped in. I hope you had a nice time at the gym. If I can give you any tips, let me know. I don't remember this about uh, John Rowe tomorrow landing. I don't remember Ron Ron's partner, Kermit. I don't remember Kermit calling it, I don't know if, if um, an, er, an herb. Heat exchange regulating blotter. Wow, I kind of do remember. I could forget that. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, wow. That's pretty cool. A heat, heat exchange regulating blotter. Pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. Simon's an athlete now. Okay. <laughs> All right, Simon. I'm glad you're back at the gym, though. I hope you're enjoying it. Sarah C says, Wes, can you show the proper form for the peck deck? When did it become a shuffle, by the way? I think Clay, Clay Turner called it the peck deck flex. Now it became a shuffle. Can you show the, the proper form of the peck deck shuffle? Because Gaston wants to know. Gaston may be a shuffle. Mine is a flex. But I think I called it a shuffle, too. And only because Sarah... I always said Clay Turner was the only person that could get me to do that. But um, because I love lesbians, my heart beats for you too. 
Okay, and I'm not doing it again for the rest of the night. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> again, I repeat, the stuff I do for you guys, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Don't you guys call it herbs? Not herbs anyway. I think in England, you, I think in England, I think the Brits pronounce herb. I think the Brits pronounce, correct me if I'm wrong, Simon, I think the Brits pronounce herb, herb. Like you actually enunciate the H, where here in America, we say herb, as if the H isn't there. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea. Wait, when did we get on a grammar and spelling lesson? Okay. Drew, call Clay. No, don't call Clay. Clay's not, I know, no, Clay's over in Hollywood Studios. He's streaming right now. No peck deck flex for Clay tonight. <laughs> Do it like the G. You know, that would make a good gif. I like that. All right. Okay, let's get into the park. A few hours here, right? I need a random <laughs> gift made of Wes flexing the pecs. Uh, Clay has finished. Okay, well, I'm glad that Clay Turner is finished with his live stream, but don't call him. Because <laughs> I know what will happen. Hey, bro. Hey, Mar hey, George Mark, 1987. Hey, Mark. Or George. Sorry, George Mark, 1987. Nice to see you too, brother. Okay, so let me make sure I know. I, I'm pretty sure the park is closing at 10 o'clock. You would think I would know this before getting here, but I know that fireworks are at 9 I mean, 9.15, happily ever after, so... Oh, no, 9 p.m. Magic Kingdom closes at 9 o'clock tonight. Why? Okay, that's weird. Because the last few times I was here, it's been less than a week, but the park was closing at 10, and happily ever after fireworks were at 9.15, so I'm not sure what that's about. Let's see. Um, entertainment, I guess, here. All right, happily ever after, where are you? Up oh, here, happily ever after. 8.45, wow, that's really early. It's not even completely dark yet, I don't think. Okay, so 8.45, for, ooh, we gotta get in there. We gotta get inside. 8.45, okay. Yeah, 8.45, let's head in. I was gonna take the boat, but you know what? To speed it up a little, let's take the monorail. Okay, the herb. I think I can put it away. It's actually not that bad out here. It's not that bad. And I do see a monorail. Good. All good. I really, boy, it's a little bit of a bummer, but I really didn't think the park was closing this early. Nine o'clock. It's been open until 10, so I don't know what that's about, but it's been open until 10 with happily ever after fireworks at 9.15. That is not the case tonight, so we need to get our butts in there. Right, let's flip you guys around. But nice to see everybody, as always. I'll give you my commercial on the way up to the monorail station there. So I'm Wes, this is Busy Getting Disney. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button to follow us on the journey. And if you wind up having a great time with me today, please click that like button. Even if you don't, click that like button anyway, because I'm a nice guy. And feel free to follow us, Busy Getting Disney, on Facebook and Instagram. And I already pinned my own, my own personal Instagram link into the top of the live chat there for you if you guys want to follow me. On Instagram, I do update on there almost almost every day with a lot of cool Disney pictures too. Okay. Here we go. I did not forget my mask today. I forgot Hollywood Studios though. But first aid, fortunately, they were nice enough to give me um, like the generic hospital kind. Hi hey there. How are you? Good, yeah, thanks. Starting some lag. Okay, I was just wondering about that, Jake. All right, I'm gonna go on to regular phone service here. Yes, if you do hit the dislike button, that's it just counts as engagement. It's not gonna hurt me. Still interaction, but I'd really rather you guys click the like button, thumbs up instead of thumbs down. How's that connection, Jake, any better? Hi. How are you? 
Good, thank you. Any? Okay. Okay. Monorail Peach, I think. Monorail Peach. Yeah, John and I will bring Cedric to Spain with us. Sure, George. Yeah, the monorail's fun. Cool, cool little form of transportation for sure. Okay, I have questions. I have questions. Did I miss something? I want to stay in my own lane, but... Isn't there still a mask mandate for indoors at Disney? Again, minding my own business, but I, I, I genuinely do want to know. But cast members didn't say anything to these people so much. Or, okay. My John running shoes, yeah. John's always getting ahead of me. Oh, is tonight a boobash? Oh, that's what it is. I didn't even think of that. There's a boobash tonight, isn't there? That's why the park's closing early. I didn't even think about that. Forgot all about that. Thank you, Wonder Buns. I didn't even think of that. Totally forgot already. Hey, who that, Dave? Hey, Dave. Nice to see you. Always nice to see you, Dave. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard to Monorail Beach. Anti-vaxxers, maybe. I really am. Okay, so the announcement said yes, you're supposed to be wearing them. Not on that end of the monorail, evidently. But at the same time, cast members didn't say anything. Surprisingly. Yeah, they, they're supposed to have it on. I don't know, Kiara. Oh, there's no boo bash tonight? Oh, I guess it's just Disney being consistent. Um, I'm not sure. I think I think uh, French. I think French. That's what I'm understanding. Yes, I want to visit Transylvania, George, for sure. I don't know. I really don't know. I'd rather just mind my own business, though. That sun's bright. Hey, Kirsty Jane is here. Hey, Kirsty Jane. Um, what happened to Dave? Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently holding for further traffic clearance. Please remember to stay clear of all automatic doors. 
Uh, you guys, moderators, what, what happened to Dave? Who that Dave? And why? Hey, Jesse Benetti's here. Hey, Jesse. I would switch into the other car if I could. Kira, <laughs> not a bad idea. Oh, sorry, that's okay, Jake. I, I did it to Linda Wonderbuns once. So Dave, I think you've been accidentally timed out. That was an accident. I did it myself. I don't know how, but I timed out Wonder Buns for 300 seconds. Yeah, it was an accident. Sorry, Dave. I know you can hear us. I know you can hear us because this happened to Linda Wonder Buns. And it was me. I put her in a timeout. It was a total mistake. <laughs> it is like purgatory. I think... Linda, if I'm not mistaken, I think you compared it to when you're in a YouTube timeout. I think you compared it to being in a coma when you can hear everybody else talking around you, but you can't say anything yourself. <laughs> no, Wonder Buns is not the only one. Kirsty Jane, I knew you'd be here. I knew you'd be up late. Hey, the, the cranes are down over there by Tron. That's the first time I haven't seen the cranes in a couple years. Wow, over by Space Mountain. Hey, we've already got 40 likes. Thanks, you guys. We don't usually get to 50 that fast. We're already at 40. Thank you so much. I think we need a refresh though. Here, hey Ashley. Ashley Mellon. Ashley, I think it was better without the Wi Fi. Okay, take. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. See, this video is freezing, if I'm not mistaken. That video better. I think it is. Jesse. Hold on, let me get out here so I can see this chat better. Stephanie's here of Adventures of Mike and Steph. Hey Steph. Hi honey. Somebody please put Mike and Steph's uh, channel link in there. Thank you so much. So nice to see you, Steph. Hey, Alex. Alex Gray is here. Hello, Alex. As soon as I have, a, have some space here, I'm gonna turn this around so I can say hi to Alex. 
<laughs> Thank you. Dave. Oh, Dave's back. That was a fast 300 seconds. I'm gonna go to Wi Fi now. Have a good day, sir. So this looks like it could be better. This video looks like it could be a little better. I think that's better, right? Okay. Oh, I can take my mask off. Hi. I love your name. Pretty. Thank you. Oh, well, Look, thank you. Now that's special. I didn't know what did that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my magic band lit up all different kind of colors on the kiosk there. It was kind of cool. Oh, magic band. Finding... Finding Dory, actually. This is an antique. It's one of the old ones, but yep. Finding Dory. Alex Gray, I still want to say hello to you with the camera flipped around. Thank you, Rick. And say hello and pull out my water bottle too. Ooh, providing there's a nice solid trash can, of course, that I can use. Well, it's bigger than a trash can, but I guess it could work the same way. Okay. Ashley Mellon, if you're still there, I totally forgot to put the kindness rock in my bag today. I have two of them in my suitcase. Let's see. So, Alex Gray from England. Thank you so much for joining Alex. I know it's late over there and I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. And uh, Dave, sorry about the timeout. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Wonder Buns was the first, actually first ever to be accidentally timed out in my live stream. <laughs> Fortunately, it was Buns and she likes me, so we're good. Plus, I apologized like 500 times when that happened. I do remember that night. <laughs> so, Alex, great. Also, thank you for joining. Okay, I'm not sure what we're doing, but since we don't have a lot of time, I'm going to go with the shortest wait times. And we really don't. We only have, I think, probably about an hour and a half before closing, right? Hour and 15 minutes before Happily Ever After. And I am doing Happily Ever After. Are you doing Boo Bash tonight? So, there is a Boo Bash. Is there Boo Bash tonight, Stephanie? That's why the park's closing early. I thought somebody said there wasn't one tonight, but Curtain Call Collectibles gift shop. Oh, best gifts, gift shop music in all of Disney. Okay, I believe that. You know, who that Dave? I think you might be right about that. Okay, catch a camp on chat, but we gotta keep moving here because I want you guys to see something other than my face. <laughs> My, and the circles under my eyes, my bloodshot eyes, and my sleep deprived face. But okay, let's go. Let's go. I don't know what we're gonna do. Somebody shoot me some low times. Because I wanna be back out on Main Street in about an hour to get ready for fireworks. Somebody shoot me some wait times, the shortest ones, please. And that's where I will, that's where I'll head. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sun glare. I think this sun glare is going to be pretty bad. Whew. Hard to see. And guys, keep me updated about the video quality, okay? Oh, I think Mickey and the gang are out. Let's see. Yes, they are.
There they are. I just had it like a little kid's side. Oh no! Almost missed them. Right when I get there, I missed them. I recognize members, the performers. Yep. Yeah, that should look familiar. Oh, I wonder if my friend Melly is working tonight in the Emporium. Let's go see if we can say hi to Melly. Love the Halloween decorations. Oh, they're so awesome. Trip, Trish. My Trishy Trish is here. Hey, Trish. Go. Let's go wait in line with Trish, not trash. Hey, Trish. Sorry, I missed you yesterday, but I'm gonna see you next Tuesday. Mad Tea Party is 15. Who that Dave said, oh, I missed this. I am officially retiring in two days, hopefully just in time for annual passes. Oh, that's awesome, Dave. I had to flip this around, retirement. I'm jealous. Congratulations, Dave. Dave, that's awesome, really, congratulations. I'm jealous. I sure would if I could. I wonder if my friend Melly is working today. The Country Bears. We've done the Country Bears a lot lately though, kind of, I feel like. Carousel of Progress, five minutes. Okay. Oh, no today. Okay, that's funny. Well, either way, I don't have tickets to a boo bash yet. I want to go. Okay, I'm gonna put my mask on and let's go see if Melly happens to be working. I called her Trishy Trish, not Trishy Trash. <laughs> oh boy, I'm never gonna live that one day. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear's 20 minutes. That's not a bad idea either. Okay, where's my mask? All right. All right, Melly, are you here tonight? Let's find out. Yes, I can't wait to see Wes and Trish together. I can't wait either. Looking forward to meeting my... My Trish Not Trash. Next Tuesday, for sure. Okay, let's see if Melly's in here, you guys. Got the mask on now. Ooh, nice and cool. A little busy in here. You know, I usually hit a few dead spots in here too. So you guys just let me know if I do. Halloween. What did you do, Wonder Buns? Linda Wonder Buns said, so guess what I did? What did you do, Buns? Very fuzzy, okay. Maybe. I put it on regular phone service, but we'll see. Hey, answer yourself. Linda bought tickets to Disney and Boobash for Preston's 40th birthday next month. Am I gonna see my Wonder Buns? I'm gonna see you, aren't I, Wonder Buns? Oh, that would be so exciting, I would love that. John would too, we would love to meet you. Or maybe even do Boobash with you. Hey, Coach. Coach N is here. Hey, Coach. Always nice to see you, Coach. Hi, Brent. Brent's here. I don't see Melly though. Okay, 
Okay, so I know... I know this connection isn't the best. I haven't had the best connections lately in the Emporium because there's so many people in here. So, I don't see Melly, so we're not staying. I think we'll go out the other end. Or, or actually right here. Okay. No Melly today. Connection's not that bad, is it? Right? I think it's okay. I think Steph's already off work, though. Oh, I need to switch to Wi-Fi again. It is crowded over here. Guys, why do I have my mask on, first of all? Okay. Secondly, I'm hungry. I want to keep it simple. So I'm thinking, um, thinking a Mickey pretzel might be in order. Oh, this, this video is terrible. All right, I'm going to try uh, getting off of... It may or may not help, I don't know. Everybody's gathered already for Happily Ever After. Ooh, I just need to get out of this area. It's too crowded. But I did want a pretzel. Let's see what the line looks like. Because there's one stop for pretzels over here. This, oh, you know what? That one, forget it. That is way too long. That line is around the corner. So I think I'm gonna do, since, okay, I can see how bad the video quality is over here because of all of these, all the people hogging the internet, and that's fine, I understand. But I think I'll go back to like the front of Main Street for fireworks, yep. Why don't we go into Tomorrowland? I think Jake said Buzz Lightyear was 20 minutes, right? Which isn't bad. It probably means it's not even 20 minutes, I bet, but. I do know somewhere else I can get a pretzel too. A Mickey pretzel, that is. My favorite, my favorite pretzel is the uh, cream cheese stuff pretzel, but that particular fast service, quick service, they close early. I think they close at like four o'clock. Yep. Okay. Video is getting a little better over here. I think because it's not quite so crowded. Nice breeze too, I might add. It's nice and breezy out here. Oh, well, we haven't done the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor either since they since it reopened. The lunching pad, that's where the um, cream cheese pretzel, you know what, almost looks like it's open though. I don't think it should be. I thought they closed at like four o'clock. The people move, oh, the people mover is working again. Wait, what was that question? Oh, hey, Maybrianne, by the way. Hi, Maybrianne. Uh, let's see. Wes, does the people mover ever visit? Does the people mover ever visit? People mover's 20 minutes, that's not so bad. 
Yeah, the lunching pad looks like they're closed. Yeah, the windows aren't open. Okay, um, where the heck am I going? So 20 minutes for, I guess the people, we can do the people mover, we're here, right? Or Tomorrowland Speedway. The only thing about Tomorrowland Speedway, who wanted to do that, by the way? That was, um, oh, Kirsty Jane. Kirsty Jane, I gotta flip this around to say hi to you, by the way. Because, <laughs> just because I love you, Kirsty Jane. And I was so excited last weekend I got to talk to Kirsty, and she's very sweet. We love Kirsty Jane. Oh yeah. Let's find the end of this people mover line. Uh, thank you, Brent. Brent likes my shirt. Thanks, Brent. Are you videos lagging, Bill? I don't even know what I'm on right now. Wi-Fi or phone? I'm on Wi-Fi. Any better? I think that's actually worse. No, well, it's okay now, I guess. Trying to find the end of the. Oh, this is the end of the people mover line. Okay. I think I need to go back to Wi Fi, you guys. No, you didn't kill any thirsty chain. The coach says the stream is okay. It looks okay. Trish says it's okay. <laughs> Bill says his phone stinks. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> it might be the connection too, though. Cool, Mabrian says it looks good. Okay. Hey, Jenny Cohen's here. Hey, Jenny. Smoother on phone service, really? Let's see. Oh, maybe it is. Looks like the screen is frozen. I just clicked over to regular uh, phone service. Let me know. Let me know, you guys. Any better? Is that better or worse? So right now, right now it's a regular phone service. Let me know. I think I've got five Gs. Okay, cool, better. Getting my mask back on. Thanks, you guys. It's like a trip to the opticians. I guess it is. Just waiting, I'm here. Sorry if I'm quiet. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm still thinking about the pretzel I don't have right now. I'm hungry. Oh, you know how this goes, I'm always hungry. 
The temperature's not bad, Brian. It's about 70, upper 70s. Not bad. What is my favorite memory on the people mover? Oh, do you know what it is already, Molly? My favorite memory on the people mover, Mel97 is asking. Molly, I've shared it before. I have a favorite memory on the people mover. Anybody know what it is? <laughs> I have shared it before, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Thank you, Kirsty. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you my, while we're in line, I'll tell you my favorite memory. There's the people mover right there. Okay, so John and I were on the people mover one day, several years ago now, but. Hey, Dana, cousin Dana. Cousin Dana's here. So yeah, John and I were on the people mover several years ago now, and we were sitting across from each other, facing each other across from each other and then there's that area of the people mover of the ride where you go through Space Mountain through the um, behind the scenes of Space Mountain and then you are in complete darkness for a couple minutes in the dark tunnel complete darkness so I had planned to supposedly play a joke on John I don't know how well it went over but um, I was wearing my one of my regular Disney t-shirts and I had a second one second t-shirt in my backpack so I thought I was gonna play a trick on John so I was wearing the one t-shirt we went to the dark tunnel and while we we're in the complete darkness I real quick changed my shirt to the other one and then when we got back in the light again I was pretending like nothing you know nothing ever happened and John's like he's like you know they have cameras they have night vision cameras in here I said oh no I said sorry and they did. They, they can actually see me in the dark. <laughs> so, but that's all I took off. That's all I changed. It was only the shirt. <laughs> Nothing else. But, um, yeah, they have night vision cameras in there. But nobody said anything to me. I think they knew I was joking. But knowing that now, I can only imagine what some of those cast members have seen in there in the dark. Right? Knowing people. Oh, Sarah asked where I got my mask. You know, Sarah, I, John got me this Pluto mask. Yeah, they can see in the dark. John got me this one, but it was from, I think it was Shop Disney. Yeah, the app, yeah, Shop Disney app. Yep, <laughs> that's all I took off. Well, it's true. <laughs> I guess I, if I didn't know that there were cameras in there, probably I could have gotten more involved, but I didn't. And now we know. Now we all know that there are night vision cameras <coughs> in the dark tunnel on the people mover. We're getting there. This won't have been 20 minutes, actually. It's gonna be, have been a lot shorter. Oh, Brent was at Magic Kingdom in 2013. Cool, Brent, I'm sure you'll be back. Yeah, I think Linda Wonderbuns is right. I think there, I'm knowing Disney, yeah. There are night vision cameras on every ride where there's complete darkness, I'm sure. Sarah says you should have done. When did this peck deck thing? Well, I thought it was a peck deck flex. Now it's a peck deck shuffle. <laughs> and then I started calling it that. I think Clay Turner was calling it the peck deck flex. I could have broke the cameras. Oh, we don't want to do that. <laughs> flexing, all that flexing and shuffling in a Disney park, it's so wrong. <laughs> Yeah, we're almost there. This one had been 20 minutes. It was flex. It started with, yeah, Clay Turner always called it Peck Deck Flex. Corn Dog Jimmy. 
Corn Dog Jimmy says Trish told me I missed the peck dance. Yeah. Sorry, Corn Dog Jimmy. If I'm feeling, if I'm in an entertaining mood, I might do it again. Oh my God, he's in. He's in chat. Clay Turner's in chat. Clay Turner, I expressly did not want you in this live chat. <laughs> I know what you're gonna make me do. Aren't you supposed to be streaming? You must be done by now, though. I know that. Um, I know the Turners were in uh, Hollywood Studios earlier, right? Just in time. Yeah, it seems that way. Okay, going up. Did you guys have a great stream? Play turn. Clay Turner can mood. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, Clay says they melted. Yeah, the sun was the sun was really cool today. And you guys check out uh, Tripping with the Turners. There's their link right there. My friend Clay, his wife Devin, and their amazing kids, Luke and London. They are awesome. So please uh, check out the Turners channel there and click that subscribe button. Yep. Hey, Cousin Steve is here. Hey, Steve. Barely got to greet Steve before I did with the Hi, Cousin Steve. Yeah, this wasn't a bad wait at all. <laughs> Play saying he he likes to move it, move it. All right. <laughs> Oh, hey, so cargo, welcome back. Yep, moderator Beverly had a birthday two days ago. The big five, two, just like me. I just like Kirstie Jane. Hi, just me. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And we're in. Yep, Beverly had a little birthday a couple days ago. Okay. Moving on the people mover. Moving on the people mover. There we go. Please step carefully onto the moving platform. Then step into the car. Connection actually looks okay. Right now. It's me. It looks okay, right? I think it's okay. Here comes the launch. Welcome the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. You're quiet and carefree highway in the sky. Hey, Brian and the yacht are here. Hey, hey, you guys. What's going on? Oh, uh, thank you, Brian. Yeah, I didn't really go into it in the stream here. I guess I could have. I already forgot about it, but... No, it's okay. I had a passenger... Well, a couple days ago, a passenger of mine on the airplane had a medical emergency, but everything everything worked out in the end. Yeah. But thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. Brian and yeah, thanks, you guys. Yeah, I believe that for always is. Yeah, there, she's okay. She's okay now. We'll get a good view of the castle on here tonight. Pretty, look at those sun rays back there. That's awesome. Those sunset clouds.
No, I didn't deliver a baby. <laughs> and I was just doing my job. Progress City. I won't be changing my shirt in here tonight. If your future includes shopping, then you'll want to visit Stock Traders, where you'll find the greatest goods from around the galaxy. We'll get a good look at Tron. Yes, Don. Funny you mentioned that. This is the first day I haven't seen the cranes over here. Look, check out Tron, you guys. But the cranes are down, so I'm wondering if, like, I wonder if it's almost finished. Look at all that. Oh my God, that's gonna be so cool. Tron is gonna be the bomb. Oh, Coach N, take care, Coach. Nice to see you, as always. Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Wes, keep your shirt on. Yeah, Tron does look amazing, right, Alan? Yeah, I'm excited about Tron. Tom Morrow. <laughs> Gary in a fun way. Kirsty Jane. That's going to be a blast. Oh my God. Milagros is here. Hey, Milagros and Santiago from Argentina. Hi, you guys. We can't wait for you to get here too, so cargo. We're inside of Space Mountain now. No, Tron won't be open until, I think it's like later next year, and later 2022. Yep. Oh, I know, I, I have something to tell you guys. I forgot. I do have something cool to tell you guys. Wait till we get out the light here. I'm gonna refresh this stream and switch to Wi-Fi. Welcome back to Tron. Sure to visit Space Mountain while you're here for an adventure that's out of this world. Hoping for a better connection with the Wi-Fi, but no, definitely not. Hey, Longevity Matt. Hey Matt, nice to meet you. Longevity Matt, I like that name. Hey Matt, I'm Wes. Busy getting busy. Please click that subscribe button. Nice to meet you. Buddy. So yes, I have some cool news. I didn't tell you guys. I don't think I told you guys. Oh, all right. Wait till he's done talking. <laughs> Hold on. Hold that thought. Okay. Yes. So John and I got. John and I got preview passes to ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. The new Ratatouille ride in France Pavilion in Epcot. It's going to be September 10th. September 10th. I'm so excited. Yep. 
Yes, we're very excited. Celebrates the progress that has made our lives better. It's a perfect reminder that there's always a great, big, beautiful tomorrow shining at the end. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Gonna be fun. I don't think I can stream it. That's the only snafu. Because, from what I understand, uh, with most previews, you can't stream film or, or photograph at all. So I think we might, if that's the case, I think that's the case. We will just have to go out there and ride the ride. I'll give you a report on it, but um, I don't think Disney's allowing any kind of photography on it until until after the ride's been officially open. Fun on the rat ride, that's right. Oh, cool. Alex, Alex Road, Ratatouille in uh, France, Disneyland Paris. That connection, that's that connection. Slightly better connection, I guess. Right? Well, a little bit. Not great. Our ride's almost over. Because this transportation system never stops. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. <laughs> you guys are, oh, that Linda kid. I forgot about him. Yep. Okay, about to step off. Thanks. Thank you. Watch your step. Step onto the moving platform. Okay. I think I need a little time check there. 806. Just under 40 minutes until uh, happily ever after fireworks. We can't wait to meet you either, Amy. Amy and Sarah, we can't wait to meet you too. We're looking forward to meeting you guys. Yep. Buns. Beverly says, oh, buns. <laughs> but you guys know, you can call her Linda or Linda, all that good stuff. But you know, for to me, she will always be my Wonder Buns. <laughs> Sorry, Linda. That that nickname will not be going away anytime soon. <laughs> oh, I see a nice garbage can to pull over. Oh wait, you? I need a garbage can. I see a table. Believe it or not, I'm gonna get some water here. Good. This works. It worked just fine. I wish I could get that pretzel though. I might be stopping at McDonald's on my way home. I don't know. I really wanted that pretzel though. Hi. <laughs> okay. Check wait times. Well, I don't know what else we're going to be getting on. We need a spot for uh, fireworks, right? But Buzz Lightyear is 30 minutes right now, so that's a little too close to fireworks. Let's 
somebody smells really good over here. I think one of these ladies that are sitting across from me, somebody has on really, really good perfume. Somebody smells great. I love that. I always smell great. Okay. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna catch up on chat and then I'll check uh, wait times. I don't know if we're gonna be getting on anything else other than walking around and going to fireworks. We'll see. Oh, oh we're discussing the origins of Wonder Buns, I see. I missed that. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to ask Wes about that story. The Wonder Bun story? Teacups are 10 minutes, huh? That's, teacups are 10 minutes? That's not that bad. I might do the teacup. The teacups aren't easy to do along. Oh, I was going to say that. I think it was, it was Molly Rook. I think it was Molly. When Molly was in chat a little earlier, Molly wanted me to do Tomorrowland Speedway. And what I was going to say about that, Tomorrowland Speedway, it's one of those rides, I can't do it alone when I'm streaming. I need John with me. I need, I need, um, I need a sidekick with me because I can't, I can't drive and operate the gimbal at the same time. I suppose I could, but that's a lot, a lot of work. So um, I didn't want to crash my Tomorrowland Speedway go-kart. So I kind of need John with me to, uh, to stream on that, to stream on the Speedway. Similarly, the, the teacups, if we go do Alice in Wonderland's Mad Tea Party, I can't really spin the cup while I've got the gimbal in my hand. I mean, I'm not that strong to be able to do it. I mean, we could try with one hand, but um, it's hard. It's hard, you know, you really need two hands to spin the teacup, but um, I could just sit there and ride too. I'm not opposed to that. I think we will do, I think we will do the teacups. I think that's a good idea. Yep. <laughs> oh, wonder, yeah. It all started with Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread, Wonder Buns. It all started with a loaf of white bread. That was it. <laughs> Focus is a little fuzzy right now. It kind of looks okay on my phone. I can refresh, let's see. I think I'm on, I'm on Wi-Fi now. Okay, I'm on regular phone service now. Is that better, worse, or the same? It looks about the same. I think it's okay though. I look exhausted. I look freaking exhausted. It's because I am. <laughs> it's true. Okay, let's see. Yep, Milagro said I read Wonder Bread and imagine a bread with Wonder Woman color. Uh, kind of, to tell you the truth. I think Wonder Bread has blue, yellow, and red polka dots all over the bag, right? Okay. Oh, Jake said, make sure your phone is on 720, everybody. Does that make a difference if you put your own phone on a 720 pixel, right? I know, like, I know my iPhones, when I vlog, I vlog in 4K, 4K HD. The quality is amazing. Oh my God, that's what I, I love about the vlogs and I miss, you know, I don't, I do mostly live streaming now, but every once in a while, the last, I think the last vlog, that I did was in Mexico while I was at work. And then I, I vlogged happily ever after fireworks when they first started again. But when I saw the, the video, when I saw my video on YouTube, the quality is so amazing. Oh my God, the quality is so amazing because it's 4K, high definition. You can't get that, you cannot get that in a live stream with an iPhone. And well, unless you have the right equipment and I can't afford the right equipment. <laughs> So we'll settle with the iPhone. I know Tanya, that crazy Disney lady, and my friend Tom of Tom Does Disney, Clay Turner, um, Mike of Adventures of Mike and Steph. We all use, we all use the iPhone Pro Max, and it works. You know, one day if we get more involved, it's fun. But for now, yes, it works. It's not perfect, but I actually think the connection right now is. I actually think it's really good. I think it's okay, right? I think it's okay. Yep. Kirsty Jane, thank you. Kirsty Jane said, you look beautiful, Wes. 
Kirsty Jane flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm really tired. I haven't had enough sleep, but it's okay. Tomorrow will be better. Ooh, I can talk to you guys about tomorrow. In fact. Oh, so cargo. Yes, Wes. May I ask about your tattoo on your my left arm? Yep. It means star in the heavens. It's um Chinese character, Sanskrit Chinese character for star in the heavens, and phonetically, well not phonetically, but in Japanese, it also, it's the name, I think it's uh, Yoshi. It's a boy's name, it's a man's name in Japanese. Yoshi is also the character for star. Yep, like star in the heavens. Yep. That's the story of the tattoo. Those are my initials over there. Got the initials. Oh, and then I have just the beginning of just the beginning of my Wonder Woman leg tattoo. Only just begun. We've only just begun. Yep. Time to stand up and move along to the teacups. Yeah, we don't we only have like a half hour before fireworks. Okay. Let's go. I can't believe these fireworks are this early tonight. Uh, if we're gonna see him, we gotta go with it, right? Just one quick little reapplication of the lip balm, though. Okay. Teacups. Teacups. Take, uh, take a shortcut to uh, Fantasyland. Oh, Dana Stanicki is getting tattoos. Are you getting, what tattoos are you getting, Dana? Are you not old enough yet? I know you're 16. I don't know what the age is to get a tattoo. Oh, or maybe that has something to do with my cousin Steve, also known as dad, <laughs> right? <laughs> is he making you wait to get a tattoo? Zach, living the magic. Hey, Zach from Syracuse. Flip this around, say hi to Zach. Hey, Zach. Wes here, always nice to see you, my friend. Thanks for joining the stream. Teacup straight ahead. Yes, Kirsty Jane, you heard that right. That was a while ago now, but yes. Simon Rogers, Mr. Simon Rogers, declared himself an athlete because he went to the gym once. He went to the, <laughs> I don't know what day it was, but he went to a gym and now he's an athlete. How do you like that, right? Hey, So Cargo says, I love it. Oh, Wes, let me tell you, you need a little So Cargo special to keep your chapstick in, my friend. Do you guys have a P.O. box? No, not yet, but you know what? So Cargo, thank you so much for that. That's very kind of you, by the way. Um, but you know what, I, but do this. You're very kind, thank you. So Cargo and anybody else, if you would like to email me, please feel free to email me, it's very simple. My, um, hey, guys. No F-bombs on my live stream. I'm the only one that can do that. Okay. Um, so Cargo, anybody else? We have an email address. It's busygettingdisney at gmail.com. So email me at busygettingdisney, busygettingdisney at gmail.com and I'll send you a mailing address. Thank you so much for that. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But the P.O. box is actually coming. The P.O. box is coming. Yep. Who needs earplugs? Why do we need earplugs? Who's getting it? Oh, yeah. Well, he would have gotten a timeout, but I know those kids are having fun. But um, you know, yeah, I dropped the f bomb by accident in Hollywood it was a couple of years, a couple, couple years ago, a couple weeks ago. But I'm a 50 year old man. I don't like seeing 10 year old boys 
dropping the F-bomb like that in Disney World. Sorry, I don't. I don't like it. Anyway, standby says 10 minutes. Okay. Teacups it is. Oh, Dana's getting a tribal tattoo. That's really cool. Wow, that would be cool. Yes, yeah, from a child, Kirsty Jane. That's what I mean. Oh, which reminds me. Get this mask back on again. Haunted Mansion is only 15 minutes? I would have got on that. I would have headed over to Haunted Mansion, but we haven't been on the teacups in a while. Hey, Creepy Craft is here. Hey, Mr. Creepy Craft. It is really late over there in France. What are you doing up so late? All bats travel, Bill. <laughs> We're about to get spinny. Yep. Getting spinny with busy getting Disney. Creepy Craft, Mr. Creepy Craft, thank you so much for joining. I know it's late out there. Bill Bounds asked, didn't Disney come out with something about no cursing allowed? I don't know, to tell you the truth. I wouldn't be surprised. And I think, yeah, in Disney World, there shouldn't be cursing like that, no. Even if it's me, I should get in trouble for it. Hey guys, thanks for the likes, by the way. 53 likes in just over an hour. Thank you so much. I've been on about an hour and 25 minutes. Wow, Mr. Creepy Craft. Yes, 2.20 a.m. in France. And Mr. Creepy Craft is on my live stream. I love you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Jacquita. Jacquita put the link to um, Disney Get Disney's email address in there. Thank you, Jacquita. Thank you so much. Yeah, anybody wants to shoot me an email, by all means. And Disney reserve. Oh, di just read about it. Disney reserves the right to require a guest to leave if using profanity. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, love it. Yes, it was the car alarms. The People setting off their car alarms is what set me off. Okay? Okay. Wind is good. Wonder Buns is fast. Wonder Buns is like Mr. Knows More from Ralph Breaks the Internet. That's right, Lowe's, I agree. I agree, Lowe's. And Wonder Buns is fast on the keyboard. Yep. I don't think I'm going to be spinning though. I might try. Hi. 
Hey, buddy. Family friendly is right. That's right, Bevs. So what's up? <laughs> I don't have anything cool to focus on right now, you guys. We're almost up there, though. We're almost there. So tomorrow I can talk to you about what's going on in the next few days. Tomorrow. I won't be live streaming tomorrow, but for the next four days, John and I will be at Orlando Megacon. Megacon is Orlando's Comic-Con, which has been posted, it's been almost two years. Kept getting postponed. It was actually my, my birthday present from John almost two years ago, but it kept getting put off because of the pandemic. We're finally going. So tomorrow's the first day of Megacon in Orlando. We'll be there. I am going to vlog. I'm not going to live stream tomorrow. I'm going to vlog tomorrow. And then we're going to live stream from Megacon on Friday. We'll live stream from there on Friday. It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to, uh, more than anything, the super, super superhero cosplayers. I'm all about the cosplayers. That's going to be fun. Oh, that's right, Jack Quita. Jack Quita messaged me or something. I think we're friends on Facebook, Instagram. Jack Quita says her son-in-law has a table at Megacon. I'm curious to know what it is. I, I would love to go and see him and see what he's doing there. Let me know. Now Steve says Dana is the anime queen. Oh, there's going to be a lot of anime, I'm sure. Yep, that Megacon. So Cargo says exactly why I'm making... Okay, wow, straw pouches for bamboo straws after I get my boo bash in, oh, fun, 50th anniversary mask, done and sent out. Oh, that's awesome. So Dana, you've got your dad watching anime too now. I think that's really cool. I love that you guys, my, well, my cousin Steve, that's his daughter Dana in there. So that's my second cousin, Dana. They're like best friends. I think it's like the coolest relationship. And I love watching them doing things together. Oh, they're still going. Yep. Yep. About to get on the teacups. They're all having fun. Oh my God, those guys are spinning so fast. <laughs> actors. I don't know what actors will be there. I know... So at Megacon, I know that, well, my friend Aaron, Aaron of Aaron and Jody, they've been on a million of our vlogs. Aaron is a superhero comic book geek like me, and he wanted to see one of his favorite artists, or his favorite comic book artist, George Perez, was going to be there. I would have met George Perez, too, because George Perez, um, he illustrated Wonder Woman in the comics for many years, in the 80s and 90s. I would have gotten one of my Wonder Woman George Perez comic books autographed by him, but... He pulled out. He pulled out kind of at the last minute. And maybe it's a co I don't know, pandemic related thing, I don't know. I'm going back to I'm switching back over to Wi-Fi. Because I think this this video could look a little better.
though. That's cool. Jack Queen and his kids are comic kind of collectors. Awesome. We're almost there now. I think the next go around will be ours. Oh, very cool, Dana. I know some of those. I know Fruit Basket. I love it. Jack Quita says instead of grandkids, she has grand comics. Love it. We are going to be making a run for it though for fireworks and we get off of this ride. Fireworks, oh, fireworks are 14 minutes away. Oh my goodness. We may actually be walking toward Main Street after the start. We'll see. I wonder how the connection would be behind Cinderella Castle during Happily Ever After because that's a really cool spot. Really cool spot to watch fireworks. The fireworks are like literally coming, shooting all around you, all, all around you, in front of you, behind you. It's really cool. There they go. Oh, that's so cool. The comics even have their own bedroom. That's awesome. I need a room from all my Wonder Woman toys. My Wonder Woman collection needs a room all to itself. We're next. I think we're next. Generally okay for the fireworks, Christy Jane? Okay. I think that's where we might go, since I'm already back there anyway. Should have a better connection because I won't be in the hub. Yeah, I think we're gonna try it. That sounds good. It's a cool spot for fireworks. Behind Cinderella Castle, that's really cool. The Wonder Dome, yes, in my house in Plainfield, New Jersey. I had a room just for my Wonder Woman collection. I called it the Wonder Dome. I'll have the Wonder Dome again one day. Which cup do we want? Maybe that. Oh, I think the green and purple one. Because green is my favorite color, and purple is John's favorite color. Cool. Okay. Again, I don't know how I'm going to do with the spinning here. I don't know. Maybe I won't be that bad. We'll see. It's my spinner. I'm just not sure about doing this with one hand. That's all. I'm gonna try. We'll see. I don't know how fast I'm gonna be able to spin though. 
but we'll see. That little boy is not ready for this ride. Cast members talking him down a little bit. <laughs> but he's not having it. <laughs> That's okay. Hey Ryan, nice to see you, buddy. Ciao. Oh, no, oh no, it's not a selfie stick. Yeah, it's just a gimbal. Yeah. She thought my gimbal might have been a selfie stick, which is not allowed in the Disney parks. No selfie sticks. But the gimbal is not okay. This family is having a hard time all fitting in the one teacup, I guess. Is the delay? Hey, Coach N is back. Hey, Coach. Thank you, Ryan. Yep, we're gonna be seeing happily ever after. Oh, I think we're going. Oh, hey, Kristen's here. Hey, Kristen. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm gonna try to spin her. I'm trying anyway. I guess I could do it. Oh my god, I can do it. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I am. It's hard with one hand. Oh, I am doing it though. Oh boy. I hate this, but I love it. Oh my god, I don't like getting dizzy. I don't, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> for the sake of the channel. I'll get dizzy for the sake of the channel, though. Dizzy getting dizzy. I'm dizzy getting Disney. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I know John and our friend Kenzie. Kenzie's 16 years old. When John and Kenzie are riding this teacup with me, they are relentless because they will spin this thing like 800 miles an hour just to try to make me sick. Seven minutes of firework. fireworks. Yep, we got a book. We got a boogie. We got a boogie. Thank you.
time to boogie. I gotta get behind that castle in about five minutes. Can it be done? I think it can be. Uh, I'm gonna go through Fantasyland though. Ta ta. Ooh, I gotta be fast. Yep. Walking fast, walking fast. I'm trying. It's always a little dark back here. Oh my goodness. Okay. What am I on? Cell phone? I mean, cell. Yes, I am. I'm going to go back to Wi Fi. I'm on Wi Fi now. How's that? You guys. How's that quality, you guys? Is it okay? Sort of? I'm here. That was pretty fast. Okay. A few minutes. Wow, this is really early for fireworks because it's not completely dark yet out there. The connect, yep, this is my spot right here. Move over a little bit. <laughs> Every morning just the same, since the morning that we came. Okay. How about, you know, put the mask away with the ball? I'm gonna need a free hand. Ooh, you guys, this is gonna be good. We got a great, look, it's a great spot. People don't know about this. It is a very well-kept secret, but look how empty it is back here in fantasy land. And it's never empty like this, ever. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get in front of us, we're gonna get fireworks that are on the sides of the castle in front of us, and then the really big ones behind us, back here, which are gonna be awesome. Yep. Is it laggy again? Really? Let's see. It looks okay on my phone. What are the chances I'm going to cry? <laughs> I always cry during these fireworks, um, but especially when Tinkerbell leaps off that top spire. So when Tinkerbell does fly at the very end, she's going to be right up there. So we're going to see her from behind, but we'll see her for a minute. She'll be all lit up when Tink zip lines. Right? Okay, you guys are good with it. Cool, thank you. This might work out really well. Oh, wait, it's time. It's time! Uh, yeah, Happily Ever After is awesome from behind the castle. You'll see. No, we, no, we won't see the projections on the front of the castle because, well, because we're behind the castle. <laughs> but we are going to get a great display of fireworks, I can tell you that. And the music, of course. Tinkerballs. Yes, tonight will it be Tinkerbell or Tinkerballs? I can zoom in that close on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah, so we won't see the projections, but I mean, back here, it's all about the fireworks and the music.
Hey, Susie's here. Hey, Susie. Hey, Susie, nice to see you. It's time. Yeah, I'll probably cry. And when you're brave enough to listen, and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we are meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock. Me too, so cargo. <laughs> I'm already getting choked up. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for that. Wow. It's Tiana, my favorite princess. Gonna get good.
Thank you, Trish. Can't wait to see you, Trish. Hey CJ, hey CJ. I agree, coach. Never gets old.
Yep, that part gets me every time. Too, May Brianne. <laughs> Mulan. This is one of my favorite fireworks. Watch how pretty the flower is. Wow. I'm Kirstie Jane.
Love it, Ryan. Thank you for that. Love those lyrics. Time for Tinkerbell. This is the best part. This finale is going to be awesome, you guys. All right, I'm going to zoom in on Tinkerbell. Here she comes. Everybody wants her to come out. <laughs> you guys, this finale is going to be really, really good. Back here. Can you imagine what a great job that must be for that zip liner? Just show up at Magic Kingdom each night at 9 p.m., zip line, and you're done. Here's your paycheck. <laughs>
September 30th. And then October 1st is the 50th anniversary. Nighttime spectacular. Fireworks. Yep. I'm going to miss Happily Ever After. Oh, yeah. Because I even love, I mean, I love Happily Ever After soundtrack. The music itself. I love all of it. But I trust Disney. Oh, Coach N. Thank you, Coach. Coach just sent me a $5 super chat. And Coach, even though I can't get it tonight, I am going to spend that 5 bucks on a Mickey pretzel. The Mickey pretzel I was not able to get tonight. I really wanted to. I should have really wanted the cream cheese pretzel. But we'll be back later this week. And Coach, in your honor, I will have a Mickey pretzel on you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Coach is cool. Yeah, so happily ever after... We'll be ending soon. And then the new show will be happening. Now, yeah, thank you guys. You don't have to thank me for the live streams, you guys. I'm, I'm happy to be here doing it. I mean, I would be here anyway. You know? I would be here anyway. Wes is going to start using PayPal. Just notice you have one. Yes, I did, um, Coach N. You know what? I'll turn this around so I can speak facing you guys. Oh, good night, Amy and Sarah. Bye, you guys. I'm going to flip this around to say good night to Amy and Sarah. Bye, you guys. I love you both, Amy and Sarah. I can't wait to meet you guys. And oh, yes, I wanted to keep it turned around. So go over here where it's a little quieter, maybe. Um, so yes, I, I, have a, I have a PayPal account connected to the channel now, but um, I'm, I'm really humble about that um, and kind of shy about it. So anyway, this came up about, this came up last week when um, one of our subscribers was sending us a super chat and then wanted to know if we had PayPal because, you know, on the super chats, well, we get taxed, which is fine. We gotta pay income tax, right? And that's fine. So, you know, he, this particular subscriber was saying, that if he was sending John and me $20, he wanted us to have the entire $20 and not after the government or YouTube gets a, a cut of it. So he wanted the PayPal. And I know almost every other YouTuber, YouTube channel, they do use PayPal. They have a PayPal account uh, linked to the channel. So I did, I did start putting it in the chat that um, for people who did want to support the channel, and I always say any funds that we get as gifts, whether they're super chats or a PayPal, um, deposit any of that it goes right back into the channel we that's not you know why we're here that is not why I'm here I'm not here to make money I would be here out here at the parks anyway whether I had a YouTube channel or not I would be here I just love bringing you guys along with me because you know when we lived in New Jersey we lived vicariously through Disney youtubers and now we get to be them I know I get to be a Disney youtuber myself so I'm just I'm grateful for anybody who does support the channel you do not have to absolutely not but when you do I appreciate it. I've done it for other other YouTube channels too. So I understand um, I understand that it can help. It does help. Because I, I'm not gonna lie, it's not, it can be a lot of work. <laughs> you know, when I come in from work and then um, it's almost, it's kind of like a second job because we've live streamed up to like eight hours in a day. And um, it's not always easy. I think the hardest part is walking and talking. And well, actually visually, you know, John always says to me, he's like, John always says, I could never do it. He's like, I don't know how you do it. John likes me and the sidekick, <laughs> and he's okay with that. I love doing it, and I, even with the vlogs, I love the editing, putting it all together. And that John's like, I don't know how you do it, because it can be, it can be difficult following the stream. And I can't follow everything in chat. There are a lot of things I miss. So if ever, if ever I don't like acknowledge somebody, um, or you know, if somebody asks a question or something, um, and I can't, it, it's, sometimes it goes by so fast I don't see it. So that's why the moderators help me out also. Um, but, you know, it can be, can be tiring. The walking and talking and reading. Walking, talking, and reading. That's what it is. Well, it's in this order, I guess it's walking, reading, and talking. And just trying to, you know, interact. Um, it's not always easy. But, you know, the gist of, is, of it is, as far as Super Chats and all that goes, um, I appreciate it, you guys, really. Um, and like I said, any of those gifts, they all go back into the channel. And Cochen, what are you doing? Uh, Cochen says, oh, now I get it. So I'll buy you a pretzel just because. Thank you, Coach. Coach is awesome. And I don't remember, 
Coach, I don't remember if I've asked you, what do you coach, Coach? Did I ask you that? What do you coach, Coach? I'm curious about that, but we love the coach too. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much, Milagros. Thank you, Milagros. I love having you guys here, all of you. Really love having you guys here. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Oh, thank you, Jenny. That's very sweet. You guys are really kind. Um, I don't really know what to say. I don't know, maybe sometimes I'm overly humble, but yeah, you guys, I really do. I love being here. I love being here. I wouldn't trade any of this for anything. And now, there's no stopping. I've gotta be here for you guys. That's fact. You know, even like the other, yesterday in LA, I was planning that live stream on the boardwalk again. I had to cancel it, but I feel really guilty about that. It's like, you know, if once I make a commitment to stream, especially, I want to be there, you know? I feel like a responsibility. Thank you, Mel. Mel sent us a super chat. Thank you so much, Mel. Mel97, better known as Molly. Thank you, Molly. You don't have to do that, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mel. Thank you, honey. We love, and I love you too, Susie Cornell. You guys are so kind. Thank you. I love you too, Susie. Thank you so much for that, your kind words. They mean a lot to me. Thanks, you guys. Love you too, Jaquita. Love you too, CJ. Kirstie Jane says, I have the utmost respect for live streamers. It's damn hard work. Very kind, considered, truly appreciated. Thank you, Kirsty Jane. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's work, but it's not. I mean, I do enjoy it, but I do, you know, some some nights, especially like when we do like the the six hour live streams, I get back to the car and I sit down. And I'm like, Whoo! <laughs> I'm usually so out of breath. All that talking and talking and walking, right? It's a lot of talking and walking. Oh, Maybrienne, thank you so much. Maybrienne, have a great night. Have a great night out there, Maybrienne. And I love you too, Maybrienne. Thank you so much. Have a great night, honey. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my. The hub is still really crowded. Oh my goodness. Wow. Really crowded. See you real soon. That's right, Cedric. John wrote tomorrow, Landian. Ron says, hey, Wes, great stream. Thanks for the fireworks show. Have a great night. Mods, take care. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ron and Kermit. Flip this around. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Kermit. Love you guys. Always nice to see you in chat. Thank you, boys. Thanks for being here. As usual, you know, every time I come here to stream after work on that all-nighter flight from either LA or, or Phoenix, I'm always exhausted and sleep-deprived, yes, but... <laughs> I always feel better after I've been here. It's true. I did it a few nights ago at Hollywood Studios with you guys. Hardly had any sleep at all, but I felt better when I got out of Hollywood Studios. Yep. Okay. Ooh. It's a really mess exodus. I think I know how we're getting back to the parking lot tonight. Bye, thank you. Thank you for your hard work. I know it's not easy. Have a good day. You too, thanks. This might take a while. Oh my goodness. This might take a long while. 
I think I know how we're getting back to the parking lot tonight. Any guesses? Thank you, Megan G. Always nice to see you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Bess. Oh, Beth, yes, I went to the gym after that last live stream. That was not easy. I did do it, though. Yep. Uh, thank you, Jenny, for whatever you sent us as a gift. That's very sweet. Thank you, Jenny, very much. Much appreciated. You don't have to do it, but I, honestly and truly, I appreciate you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much. This is going to take a little while to get out of here tonight, though. Wow. Yes, Beverly knows. We're walking. <laughs> just switched back to um, regular phone service here. I don't know if that's better. I think it's because the, the Wi-Fi is really tied up at the moment. So I'm on regular phone service right now. I hope it's okay. I think it's a little better than um, Wi-Fi. I hope it's okay. I think it's a little better than um, Wi-Fi right now. Because Disney Wi-Fi Whew. It's overloaded. Yeah, it's a nice walk. I don't mind the walk. I, at least, even though it's long, I feel like I'm getting somewhere as opposed to just waiting for a monorail. Or furry. Yep. It's about three. Yeah, Beverly's right. It's about three miles. That's okay. Sorry, sorry guys. That's okay. Okay, it's a little more freed up over here. Ooh, temperature's really good. Weather's good, guys. It's, I wanna say it's almost cool. And it's not humid. Saying that alone is like science fiction <laughs> in Orlando in August. It's not humid. Science fiction. It's not so bad. Still loving the Halloween decorations. Linda, why are you having a heart attack? Bats? <laughs> I'm so confused. I love the fall decor too. What did I miss? You guys thought you were seeing bats, but they were only bubbles? Oh boy. Um, let's see. I guess we better go this way. Ooh, something smells good. I smell food. You guys, I am so damn hungry. <laughs> I'm so when I, I was talking to Beverly on the phone during my drive here, I was like, oh, no, we're eating in Magic Kingdom tonight. I said, I'm, I'm, I was hungry then, a few hours ago. I said, I don't know, I'm going to get something to eat in Magic Kingdom on the live stream. And then I talked about the cream cheese pretzel, the regular pretzel. I didn't get anything. I'm hungry. I think a couple Big Macs might be in order on the way home. I don't know. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
I'm slacking on the food game today. I did big time today because I did want to eat here. Yep. I really did want to eat. Can I say why they left? Somewhere is that in the Oh, they bought the bats for Boobash. <laughs> it works, doesn't it? I think okay, so I just put I just put my mask back on. This is too close for comfort for me. So I'm wearing my mask now. I've had I've had the open bridge before, the drawbridge when the electric water pageant has gone by. It's not that long. It's not that bad. Yeah, this is a little too close for comfort for me. Sorry. See you real soon. Almost out, almost out. Yes, John will be happy I'm wearing the mask. Yes, he will. There's a lot of waddling going on, Linda. <laughs> so true. I, you know what's funny? I purposely, uh, I'm conscious of not doing that. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Let me get out of here first. Wonder Buns, I have a funny story to tell you. Beverly's going to be able to relate to this one. <laughs> The waddle is because somebody has jock itch. Well, it's not me, honey. <laughs> it's not me. I don't waddle. I actually... <laughs> I'm always conscious of putting one foot in front of the other. Yeah, I do have something to share with you, but let's... Oh my God, look at that. Even if the drawbridge does open for the electric water pipe, look at that. This will take forever. I don't want to do that. I will walk my happy butt all the way over to the station and ticket center. When I was in it, it worked Oh, hey, I'm just seeing it. Look, the scrim, the coverings are off on the front of the train station. I didn't even notice it on the way in. That's been covered for like a year and a half. I didn't even know. Cool. This is definitely a mass exodus. Wonder Buns, don't let me lose that thought. I'll tell you my story when we get out here. Yep. The train station is uncovered. Finally. Oh, 
Cuando viene la máquina, nosotros duramos 20 minutos. ¿Dónde que están? Estamos después de donde entramos. Allá que nos vamos a montar. ¿Dónde están? ¿Eh? ¿Y a dónde está? Oh my goodness. This lady, this lady behind me is just shouting in my ear. Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay. I might not be the only one walking tonight. How was that video, guys? I saw it, it was, uh, I saw it was frozen there for a moment. Sorry about that. Walkway, walkway. Alright, so I'm on Disney Wi-Fi. I think I need to go over to phone service though. Hey! Or maybe not. Gabby! Doesn't, doesn't really look that bad. Okay. Oh, I do see the electric water pageant. Bill Bounds knew. Bill knew that I was gonna be intercepted by the electric water pageant. That's okay. Okay. Looks good now? Feels okay right now? Okay, good. <laughs> I can breathe again. Cursey, you know I can breathe again is right. <laughs> Kind of felt like I was holding my breath. But there's a lot of human contact. Thank you. Okay. There, there's the electric water pageant. Love that pageant. Pretty, no wide walking, that's right. Okay, let's walk, okay. Huh. My story. Poof is right. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's so much better. <laughs> Mass exodus. Oh Two words. It <laughs> it's been a long time since it was that crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Exit is it all. At least here you do feel like you're getting somewhere. Yeah. So my story. Oh, my story is for Wonder Buns. That's right. Trader Sam's. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. You know, Wonder Buns, that's not a bad idea. Or or uh, Captain Captain Cook's, not Captain Hook, but Captain Cook's is over there at the Polynesian too. That's not a bad idea. We'll see what's going on when I get there. Pork tacos. Ooh, that sounds really good. Okay, so Wonder Buns, my little story here for you. You were mentioning, Wonder Buns was mentioning all the waddling. You know, when people walk very slowly, in a line like that or in a crowd like that they tend to waddle <laughs> right so when we were kids when we were kids when my brother warren and i were kids in catholic school so every sunday we'd have to go to church and when we would go to communion we would go to get take holy communion that's what the line would look like <laughs> everybody and my brother warren and i always used to laugh so we would be in line to receive Holy Communion. But everybody, like in front of us, all we would see is all of this waddling going back and forth. 
And we used to get in trouble for laughing. My mom would, my mom would get embarrassed. She's like, shut up, shut up, you two, you're, stop laughing. We couldn't help it. It's amazing how some people will act like that. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Linda remembers the waddling hip in the line for communion. <laughs> it's so true. But Beverly knows so true. Waddling, yep. Waddling Catholics. That sounds like, um, Either a book or a movie. Mm. All right. Mm. LOL. Oh, Jack Quita says I was Catholic. I went to Catholic school too. Yeah, I know. I could write a book. And uh, needless to say, everyone knows Beverly and I went to that Catholic school together. Elementary school, that is. Susie said I fell asleep in my chair, so I went <laughs> to sleep. Good night, Susie. I'll turn this around so I can say good night to you better. Hold on, my finger there. Good night, Susie. Thank you for joining, so nice to see you, as always. Oh boy, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. Yeah. Steve said, Steve said, Nikki says, they don't dare send me to Catholic school. They didn't dare send me to Catholic school. So I guess Uncle George and Aunt Kathy didn't send you guys to Catholic school. Hmm. It's my cousin Steve's parents. Lucky you, Steve. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, I could write a book. I wouldn't do that though, but but I could. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Bill Bounds, 12 years of Catholic education. Yeah, I can top that bill. 16 years for me. Catholic elementary school, Catholic all boys Catholic high school, and even four years at a Catholic college. Yep. It's all good. I don't regret anything or anything from that experience. <laughs> there are other things in life I do regret. That's another story. Jack Quita said, I was that kid. I was the kid that the priest sprinkled holy water. <laughs> saying, ouch. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Jack Quita. Linda says, well, I lucked out. I only had to suffer through four years of Catholic high school. That's enough. I was not happy in high school. I will tell you that. Oop, we are going to get the bridge. It's already open. The electric water pageant is just going through right now. Yep. No, I really did. I really had, um, ugh. I don't want to call it the worst experience of my life, but my high school experience was not happy. All boys Catholic high school was, had nothing to do with it being Catholic. It was, oh, just an unpleasant experience. I was not happy in high school. Kirsty Jane loved school. There were things I liked about it. More so elementary school, but not high school. Okay, so the floats are just crossing the open bridge now over there. Linda says that she did so well in middle school. I had such great friends, and then my parents made me go to Catholic school. It's terrible. Hated every second. Yeah, I did too, Linda. I really did. I hated every second of high school. Yep. Like you two again. Yeah. We're agreeing again. Yeah, I'm like, what? Go ahead. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I guess they just thought we were all hanging out. <laughs> Nowhere else to go. Oh my god. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tell you about my first confession after we cross the bridge. <laughs> oh, I've got a good story there, too. Oh my goodness. Pulling out some water while we're waiting here, you guys. Okay. Almost time. Though it is time. Okay. Okay. Bell Bounds, that was a good call. Bill knew this was going to happen. Good prediction there, Bill. You were right. Then we're going to follow the signs to our hotel, okay? Oh, Linda, I'm reading. I'm catching up here. Yep. <laughs> Bill says he's been out of high school longer than we've all been alive. <laughs> That's okay. Just waiting for that bridge to be fully closed, I guess. I'm going to zoom in on the wedding pavilion. That's what I'm going to do. Because it's so pretty over there. The beautiful Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Isn't that great? No, same here, Linda. John and I did go to a wedding. We attended a wedding there about two years ago. And it was pretty cool. We couldn't do it ourselves, though. That's for sure. Oh, I think Molly's going to bed. Mel 97. Good night, Wes and everyone. I have work early. Hope to see you all. Tomorrow, I'm, I won't be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to vlog tomorrow at Megacon. And then I'm going to stream at Megacon on Friday. Friday's going to be a double stream, though. The first part of the day, I'm going to live stream from Megacon. And then John and I have a reservation at the Boathouse in Disney Springs for our one-year anniversary of Busy Getting Disney. That was the day the channel started. We're going to be having dinner at the Boathouse 
and live streaming, live streaming, not live streaking. <laughs> I won't be live streaking. I'll be live streaming and bringing you guys with us to the boathouse. Yep. So, uh, Mel97, Molly. Have a good night, Molly. Love you. Bye. Have a great night's sleep. Molly's heading out. Live streaking. Yeah, no, there won't be any live streaking. <laughs> yeah, John, John will be with me on Friday. Yep, for both streams on Friday. I read Hollywood Studios too, Kirsty Jane. HS means for Disney people, it's Hollywood Studios. I was thinking the same thing. Yep. Yep, anniversary dinner at the boathouse. That will be fun. Bye, Mel. 97. Bye, Molly. We'll see you in a couple days. I'm Disney obsessed too, Kirsty Jane. Totally understand. HS means Hollywood Studios. DHS. Okay. All right. Maybe that's it. Disney's Hollywood Studios. <laughs> you guys. Piano Rob. Okay. I'm not sure who he is because we've never been there before. We've never eaten at the boathouse. It's a first for us. I'm excited. Yeah. Yep. No, because I want it to be like I want it to be like a, like a computer, like where calendar, like appointments, you know. And we're moving. We're walking. Well, then just get like it's just like a Samsung tablet or something. No tablet. I don't know what that is. I mean, I've only had an iPad, so that's why I'm like I don't know what the option is. Definitely not the only one walking tonight. I think the last time I walked back here, I was one of very few, only a very few number of people were walking around with me. Not tonight. Monorail. No, we haven't walked a mile yet, Beverly. Not yet. We were stopped at the drawbridge where um, where the electric water pageant passes through. So we had to wait for the floats to pass through. Wow. It's a lot of people on the walkway. I've never seen it like this. Wow. All I know right now is I'm hungry. <laughs> Beverly, weren't you mentioning wide walking? You mean like that? <laughs> Beverly and I learned this. When we took our vacation to Japan, we learned a lot of cool things in Japanese etiquette when we got there that I wish Americans could apply. <laughs> Also, one. Oops. One is wide walking. So in Japan, as a pedestrian, no more than two people, a couple, no more than two people should be walking side by side out in public to save space. But here, like Americans, yeah, we'll walk, walk like four or five people across. And people that are walking a little bit faster cannot get by. A mosquito just totally flew in my eye. I'm thinking Big Mac or two or three, two and a half. Just 
Beverly, you're making me laugh. Beverly, somebody asked Beverly if her feet were, were aching. And I just thought of a funny story that she would kill me if I shared on here, but I really want to. <laughs> Beverly and I went to uh, Miami. We were on South Beach in Miami for a weekend. When we were in our 20s, we were like 25, 26. And Beverly stubbed her toe really bad in a convenience store that we were, we were in. Oh, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. For real, don't. I won't if you really don't want me. <laughs> okay. Okay, she's gonna kill me. I won't. But I did, Beverly, I did just think of that story. What can I say that I do? She's saying no. <laughs> okay, I won't. But Wonder Buns and Jack Queen and all those who wanted to hear, when I meet you in person, I'll share it with you. <laughs> in person. Just remind me. I mean, it was two conversations. Yeah, it's a good one. Same reaction. <laughs> Beverly's got stories about me. When Beverly is down here, I guarantee you. She'll have some fun like, things to share about me like, I just say, that like, I wasn't interested like, in sharing. Oh, good night, Coach. And the guy is like, coach is heading oh. to bed. I had a great time with you too, Coach. Thank you for joining, Coach. Thank you for the super chat. Love you, man. Thank you. Thanks for being here tonight. We had a great time. You're a YouTube star, remember? I was like, you're a busy chick. Uh, no. Well, the one lady was asking how to do it. Well, well, it was funny because last time you and I were there. Remember? Oh, just Beverly stubbed her toe. We were in a convenience store. Beverly stubbed her toe. That's all. That's the whole story. Look, that's the van that I tried to have the Yeah, right. No, she doesn't want me to tell it. I won't tell it. <laughs> Beverly, I must make you nervous when I get when I go live and start talking about our history, right? Thank you, Coach. Yeah, good night to you too, Coach. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm sorry. Oh, did you, did you hear about? Wait. Okay. My best friend is Beverly. This lady next to me, she heard me talking about. I feel I feel like muting it and actually telling them the story because nobody else. She didn't want me to tell anybody, but these two want to hear it. Oh, I got a big mouth. Sorry. We're just all really close together. Yep. Oh, it's a, it's kind of a long story. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Thank you for asking. That's all we needed. Thank you. Oh my God, you guys are. Where are you guys from? North Carolina. Oh, Kentucky, cool. Kentucky. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Love Louisville. One of my favorite cities in the whole I'm just country. Outside of Louisville. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I work for American. Oh, fun. So, for you. Okay. Yeah. Needless to say, I'm in Charlotte a lot too. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say. Well, that's where we'll be flying. Back a little bit too much. Night. Oh, okay. That's yeah. good. That's why I said American is monopolized there. Oh, in a really big way. Do you live that there? is true. No, I'm, I live here in okay. Orlando. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. So I get ahead of you, I say good night, and then I go. catch right. up well, we're with you. Say it this way, so okay. you have a good night. You too. Have a great night, you guys. Bye. <laughs> okay, did you guys hear that? <laughs> so, <laughs> those are the ladies. I was talking to them when we first started our walk together <laughs> on the walkway. She must have heard me tell, starting to tell a story. So I, they kind of caught up with me walking. They were right next to me. And the one lady looked over at me and said, so is Beverly's toe okay? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness, I got a big mouth. They wanted the story too, yep. Yes, they did.
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I guess we're about halfway there now. Well, no, maybe not. We're passing through the Grand Floridian. Still need to get to the Polynesian, though. It's a little ways off still. <laughs> Beverly's toe is famous. Yep, complete strangers. Complete strangers walking <laughs> near me at Disney World are asking about Beverly's toe. It's what I get for opening my big mouth. Sorry, Bevs. I didn't tell them the story, though. The rest of the story. I still want to, but I still won't. Just you wait, throw my stories about you one day. Oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm in trouble. Yeah, Beverly has stories about me. I, I know I would not share on a live stream. I bet she would. Or well, or will. <laughs> I have a feeling she will. That's what I get. That's what I get for revealing too much about my best friend. It's actually a cute story, though. <laughs> oh, you guys. Check out the Splash, Splash Park. Grand Floridian, that looks like a lot of fun. I guess it's for kids, but it still looks like fun to me. Such a beautiful resort. John and I had two really great nights here last September. We had never stayed here before. It was a gift from two friends of ours in New Jersey who gifted us their Disney Vacation Club points because they couldn't make their vacation because of this whole mess, this whole pandemic mess. So we had two nights in the Grand Floridian. I vlogged. I have three vlogs from that stay, from last September. It's a good one. Yep. Cayman Islands. Okay, I'm in trouble. Okay, so Beverly just said, and Beverly doesn't have to say any more. Even though that story isn't true, Beverly just said two words. She said Cayman Islands. So, <laughs> all right, you win, Beverly. So in, in uh, 1992, is it 92? 93. 93? Or 94. I think it was 94. When did we go to the Cayman Islands? I, I think it was 1992. Anyway. Beverly and I went on vacation to the Cayman Islands, and that's all. That's the whole story. She thinks there's a story there. There's kind of a <laughs> There is kind of a story, one I would never share. Never share. But <laughs> that was a threat. Or blackmail. I think she threatened to share that story if I share if I shared the uh, toe stubbing story. <laughs> oh my goodness. Caroline, Caroline wants me to check Instagram as soon as possible. Okay. This better be good, Caroline. Let's see. I will check which, which Instagram, Wesley Zosh or uh, Busy Getting Disney? forget which one you follow me on there. Okay, I'm thinking it's busy getting Disney. Yeah. Okay, Caroline, Caroline W, I did get your message on Instagram. Um, I, hold on one second. I think I, lost my way off of the uh, yeah off of the walkway here how did I do that okay hold on give me a second here 
Yeah. I got a little sidetracked here. Um, Carolina, I did get your message on Instagram. I'm not going to share that here in the live stream because I think that's, um, it, that's really kind of very personal regarding your family. So I don't, I don't know if this is the right place to share that, but I'll respond to you. I'll respond to you in Instagram. Okay. I got to get back on the walkway here. I got off track a little bit. Oh, we can go this way to get to the Polynesian. Uh, thank you, Caroline. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll message you a little bit later when I get home, okay? Beverly says, don't mess with the Bevinator. <laughs> no, I, I learned that lesson years ago. <laughs> uh, we don't need the Grand Cayman. Yeah, the Cayman Island story being told. So I'll shut up about uh, Beverly stubbing her toe. I think we'll cut across the grass here. Freshly mowed lawn. Green and fluffy. It is, this is really fluffy grass. A little wet though. Okay, now we're passing, we're about to pass the Wedding Pavilion. We're at Grand Floridian. The beautiful Wedding Pavilion, and it really is. John and I went to a wedding here two years ago of um, our friends Candace and Ryan from New Jersey. So they got married here at the Grand, Flor Grand, Flor Grand Floridian Wedding Pavilion. And then the reception was at America Pavilion in Epcot after park hours. It's really cool. After the park closed. Amazing. But you don't want to wait for Beverly says, for the love of God, why did you go there? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. I didn't tell it though. I didn't tell the rest of the story. I'm not going to now. Yes, it is. A, Jack Quita said, it's a blessing to have a friend for that many years. Yeah, it's true. 41 years. Almost 42 years, really. Yeah, almost 42 years. <laughs> this is his big mouth. I still love him. Thanks, Beth. I love you, too. Beverly says, I can't tell you how many vacations <laughs> away, how many vacations I have walked into a situation where he is telling... <laughs> telling something to someone I know that I shouldn't be sharing. <laughs> Sorry, Beverly. Oh, my God. If it's any consolation to you, it, the same thing has happened to John many, <laughs> many times over the years where he's walked in on a conversation I might be having with somebody and he winds up rolling his eyes. Um, I think that... I think that one of the most recent ones for John... He was using the men's room at Epcot in the last couple months. I was live streaming, of course, and Clay Turner was egging me on with stuff there. And that was the first time the peck deck flex ever happened. And I'm flexing a peck, <laughs> telling Clay Turner that my heart beats for you, Clay. And John walked in on that. <laughs> he was like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> that was the beginning of the peck flex. Peck Peck that flex. <laughs> oh boy. Gotta keep laughing. Right? Okay, we're almost to the Polynesian. Oh, Jack Weta was there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that doesn't make it right. <laughs> no, that's true. Ooh, something smells really good over here. I think it, oh, I know what it is. Of course. It's Ohana. Our favorite restaurant on all of Disney property is Ohana. 
at the Polynesian. That's what I smell. Oh my goodness. And boy, does it smell good. We haven't been back to the, Pol or the, we haven't been back to Ohana since they reopened. They only reopened like this last month, a month ago maybe. Yep. As if we should be in a club car or something. Tell me, tell me, tell me, does it have a club car? Jenny says the Polynesian is her favorite hotel. Yep. Can't wait until my kids, oh, move out and have money to stay there again. I can understand that, Jenny. John's look was like, yeah. Do you want to explain yourself? I don't think John even asks, he doesn't even ask for an explanation anymore. No, he just rolls his eyes. He's like, okay. I think he kind of knew what he was getting into <laughs> seven years ago when he rang my doorbell. That's a good way to put it. Oh, yep, that's Ohana. I hear the music. The Polynesian Hawaiian music. It's awesome. Ooh, this makes me want to eat at Ohana. Being over here. So Ohana is up there on the second floor of the resort. Oh my God, the best Polynesian barbecue. All you can eat. Oh my God, it's so good, I miss it. It's been so long. The best, the best, the best. We're almost there, believe it or not. Yeah, we are. I think, oh, I've got to pull my mask out. Jack Quita, you will never hear the story about the Cayman Islands <laughs> over my dead body. Jake, trust me, you do not know what happened in the Cayman Islands. <laughs> That's not something you could possibly guess. <laughs> trust me. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, we're almost there. Where are we now? Who is that? Hey, crew it up 1313. Hey, Matt. We are just leaving the Polynesian Resort. We walked over from Magic Kingdom on the walkway, heading to Transportation and Ticket Center now. Yep. So, hey, Matt, nice to see you. We're in a tunnel and I see a light. Yes, we are. I, you know what? I always get confused here as to where the walkway continues. I don't think this is it. I need a cast member. Oh, I see a cast member. Hey, you guys, which way does the walkway keep going to the transportation ticket? Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, okay. It takes you right over to TTC. Cool, thank you. Okay, I was going the right way. Believe it or not. 
I'm thinking there's a Big Mac in my future. My immediate future. Yep, golden arches. Wonder Bond's nose. It's definitely going to be two. <laughs> Thought about three, but... Well... I could kind of eat three, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Yeah, I could. We're almost there. Beverly, I know I told you where I parked. Was it Hook? It was Hook something, I think. I have to look back at my text messages. Oh, I'm tired. Lilo's Playhouse. Oh, it would have been a Mickey pretzel or a cream cheese pretzel, but it's going to be a Big Mac. Or two. Or three. We'll see. No, Beverly, it's okay. I have it in, um, I have it in your text message. I'm going to look at it right now. As a matter of fact. Okay. Oh, I've got it, Beverly. I've got it now. I remember it was in Hook. It was in Villains. Okay, got it. And then I didn't even have to stay to clean up. So, because 10 is when they close. So I got somebody to take my spot so they could close it. Almost there. I see the lights. Wait, is the Wonder Buns leaving? Who do I need to say goodnight to here? Yeah, you have to oh, night, Linda. Wonder Buns is heading out. I'm almost finished too, Linda. Thank you. Goodbye, Wonder Buns. We'll see you later. Love you. Bye. See you, Buns. Longevity, Matt. Hey, Matt. Thanks again for joining tonight, Matt. Okay, I am running out of gas. Ooh. Matt says, Matt crew it up says I'm here just stuffing my face. I'm gonna be stuffing my face soon. It will be soon. And I'm thinking it's going to be McDonald's. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh. Oops, almost cursed. Because I went the wrong way. I've got to get around this fence. I'm off of the sidewalk now. I have to be on that other side of this fence. I'm on the wrong side. All I can think about is food right now. You want to go to McDonald's with me, huh? My car may be the only one left. No, it's, it's, I am all the way on the end. I will say that. 
It won't be hard to find, but... The only thing about Magic Kingdom is getting in and out of the park. It's the most involved. All the other Disney parks, you can get out of your car and walk to the entrance, but Magic Kingdom, even though it's my favorite park, getting in and out of the park is always a production. Yep. I hear the car alarms going off. <laughs> oh yeah. Artemis, I'm coming Artemis. She knows I'm coming. Now I'm on the right path. We'll find Artemis soon enough. Yeah, I just wish there was an easier way to get in and out of Magic Kingdom, that's all. What do we do? I'm gonna ask these cast members to make sure I'm doing going the right way here. You guys, can I keep can I get to the transportation ticket right from here? Okay. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. I guess I should just be calling it TTC instead of getting so technical, calling it the transportation and ticket center, which is what it is, but Slightly paused monorail up there. To the left. Oh, he's right. Yep. Almost there. Well, almost there, but oh, I still have to walk to the car. One thing about days like this at Magic Kingdom, you don't have to do cardio if you go to the gym afterwards or before. Because this is it. Getting in and out of Magic Kingdom is cardio. Hi there. Have a good night. How are you? Thank you. I just dropped my reading glasses. Okay. Oh, Artemis. Where are you, Artemis? Yeah, we've got to get into the lot first, though. Beverly said, Beverly, what are you saying? Beverly says, we all feel a certain heaviness in the air as if something might spill out of his mouth. <laughs> he might regret. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. It's like a gym and a therapist at the same time. That's right, Jack. Jake's right. Yeah, Disney is, I always say Disney is my psychiatrist. It's a workout coach too. Good point. No, we really are almost there now. This still does beat waiting in line for the monorail in a crowd like that. It really does. It did. This was better. Oh, tired and hungry. Tired and hungry. It's okay. All right. We're here now. Yay. Rights meaning they get to like advertise. I don't even know what time it is. Let's be close to 10 o'clock, I guess. 10 18. Oh, wow. That went fast. Wow. I don't think it was that late yet. For the sake of the channel. Okay, we can do this. Come this far.
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Beverly was feeling a bit poetic. Villains, we're in the villains lot. Okay. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Walking, walking, walking. <laughs> Are we still on Beverly's toe? My goodness. Getting there. What's up, guys? I can do it, I can do it. Yes, I can do it. Okay. Getting there. <laughs> and getting there. And getting there. Woo, I think I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Conditions are right. I think after eating a couple Big Macs before going to bed, Conditions are also right for some really whacked out dreams. <laughs> Always follows the. Uh... Okay. Is this video lagging at all, guys? I know we're almost done, but still. That story. I know when Beverly is adamant. <laughs> I know when she really means it. <laughs> it's a cute story, though. I'm more mortified about the story she was referring to in Cayman Islands. I don't want to share that. <laughs> yes, these are the people that were in line for the monorail. That's right. <laughs> Beverly. I know. You know, I'm calling you on my way home. All right. I know I'm in Villains parking lot. I also know I'm in Captain Hook. I know I'm in the hook section. <laughs> that was a naughty laugh. Not really. Well, well, kind of, now that I think about it. Oh my goodness, I pooped. I don't want to keep saying it because the law of attraction says the more that you say you feel a certain way, the more you really do. So the more I say, I'm tired the more I'm going to be tired. Now, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh boy. That won't be me tonight. Ooh. Not there yet. Oh, wait, I see my car. I see Artemis all the way from over here. She's all by herself out there. She is. See her? 
There she is, amidst all of the uh, panic alarms going off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all the car alarms going off. I feel like I'm breaking out of prison. We're getting there. We're really getting there now, though. Because Artemis is an eye's view. Honk, honk, honk. I'll get my own key out. Even though I won't be pressing that panic button. Forget it. Not me. Okay. I got a text message a few hours ago, by the way, from Carissa. You guys. You guys know my buddy Carissa, right? We all love Carissa. She says hi. She wasn't in chat tonight, but I did get a text from her a little earlier. Feels like security is after us. No, I'm not dropping an F-bomb tonight. Just because panic buttons are going off. I'm too aware of it now. I don't think I would do it again. <laughs> I was so mortified the night I did it in Hollywood Studios. Pretty conscious of it these days, ever since that night. Oh my goodness, though. Ay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> if that's not obnoxious, I don't know what is. Ay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Whatever. Right, here she is. There she is. And we're back. Let me get all this stuff in before I do my little clothes out here. Okay, hold on gang, hold on. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, there go more. Okay, you guys. So, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Where did I put the reading glasses? They're gone already. Thank you so much for joining tonight, you guys. I had a lot of fun in Magic Kingdom. Fireworks were awesome. Fireworks were a lot of fun tonight from the back view by the castle. So, anything, anything last in chat I need to see here? Yep, hello, Artemis. Blows. It's a parade of alarms. It really is. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> it doesn't end. Okay. And that's fine. Okay. So anyway, thanks for joining you guys. I had a really great time tonight, even though I'm this tired, it's okay. You guys make this all worthwhile and coming out here to Disney, I'm always in a better place than where I was before I got here. So thank you so much for that. So yes, tomorrow will be it. John and I will be at MegaCon vlogging, not live streaming tomorrow, but vlogging. I'm gonna to try to get the vlog done and up on YouTube as soon as possible. And then on Friday, Friday, we are going to live stream from MegaCon, the first part of the day, and then transfer over to Disney Springs to live stream our one year anniversary of Busy Getting Disney dinner at the boathouse in Disney Springs. It'll be a lot of fun. So please set your reminders and join us, you guys, okay? And also, uh, in the meantime, feel free to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Busy Getting Disney. And also, I left the link to my own personal Instagram in the pinned uh, chat, the top of this chat. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I try to upload or update on there each day when we're going to go live next or when I'm going to upload a new vlog, okay? And our email address also is busygettingdisney at gmail.com. 
So that's what's coming up ahead, and I'm sure there'll be a lot more after that, a lot more this weekend, and I'll let you know as we go along. And Manny the man, thank you so much. Manny, have we met before? Manny, thank you very much for that $5 super chat that just popped up. Thank you, Manny, it's nice to meet you. I don't know if we've met before, but nice to meet you, Manny. Thank you so much for the super chat, I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for all of it that you do. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys over the next few days. For now, it's uh, time for a couple Big Macs and a good night's sleep. So, okay. Until next time, you guys be safe. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other. Love you. It's Wes <laughs> and everybody else. It's Wes, busy getting Disney. Over and out. Bye, you guys. Love you. Bye.